I am giving out an award right here and now at the top of the show. I would like to announce to the world that my 2020 Male Fighter of the Year is none other than the Italian dream himself. Oh, my no. Paisan, wait, my paisan, you, wait, Marvin Vittori. Wait, Marvin right now? Vittori is my Fighter wait, of the Year wait, for 2020. Wait, you heard wait, it here wait. first. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. You can't do this yet. You cannot do this yet. Let me tell you why. You can't go. You know, hey, what about the panel? You know no, what about no. the panel of people that helps you make give out these awards? A singular person voting on awards does not work. You cannot give it to Marvin yet. When David still has the fight, that's your guy. No, he listen, got his hair done yesterday. Marvin Vittori. Yes, I saw that. Uh, <laughs> Marvin Vittori. No mask, by the way. A little bit concerning. Marvin Vittori picks up a big win over Jack Hermanson. One week's notice. Goes in there, first time in his career, five rounds, gets cut up all over the place. The Italian dream himself waltzes in there into the main event slot. Three cancellations in the first half of the year. Unfortunately, lost his grandfather, comes back in June, beats Carl Roberson, and then beats the Joker, Jack Hermanson. And then to top it all off, he does what my dear friend Daniel Cormier could not do. He does oh. what every single fighter that I know and call a colleague, even some of my TV friends couldn't even do. He shouts out Helwani yeah, on the broadcast. On the UFC broadcast. Yes, yes. And it got played. And it got, it got played. played. And so I mean, Marvin Vittori, okay. grazie mille, paisa. <laughs> grazie mille, my brother. I am going to campaign for you, not only to be fighter of the year, but I'm going to get you into that video game, my friend. You're my guy. You don't want to talk to me, it's fine. But you're my guy. I want the world to know Marvin Vittori is my guy. So all it took was Marvin actually mentioning you on the broadcast. Absolutely. I mean, talk about it. I mean, talk about an egomaniac. What an egomaniac you are. Listen, Marvin Vittori did do that. He called you out. He said, listen, wait, he didn't even say anything nice about you. He goes, I'm not going to talk any more trash name. about DC, <laughs> but I will always talk about Helwani. <laughs> like, I always talk trash about Helwani. That's and fine. that's good to you. You, you that's accept all, that's that. That's all as, I needed. That's all I needed. All you need. Recognition. Okay. Okay, Marvin Vittori gave the shout out. And honestly, man, if I got to be honest, what I saw Saturday was so impressive. The way that he was composed, the way that he dealt with the ebbs and flows of the fight. This fight started great for Marvin. He dropped Jack Hermanson. But then by the second round, it was closer. Third round, it looked like Hermanson was going, going to run away with the fight, right? He was going to do what we've seen Jack do on so many occasions where his pressure and his pace overwhelms guys. Marvin, who had been training for a fight, not a five-round fight a little bit later, would have been at the end of the fight had we gone three like he was supposed to. He was able to recenter himself, take the advice of his coaches, go out and win the fourth round and the fifth round, right? So it showed that Marvin Vittori has now turned a bit of a corner in the sense that even when things go off course, he's able to kind of right the ship, get back going in the right direction, and I thought he fought fantastic. I mean, I was very, very impressed with Marvin Vittori's performance. I was very impressed with his ability to, to, to adjust in, um, in mid-fight. I was very impressed with his ability to maintain focus for five rounds and beat a very tough Jack Hermanson. This was the fight he's been searching for. Um, hopefully he can smile a little bit and not be so ornery. And, and, and hopefully he can drop the Izzy fight. Because for the longest time, my issue with Marvin was that his claim to fame was that he went the distance and lost a split decision with Israel Adesanya. Not only can he drop that now because he has a big win, now he's cutting great promos on Izzy. I don't know if you saw that promo on Saturday at the post-fight press conference about Izzy. Like, he's in the conversation. Now, afterwards, he said, give me Paulo Costa. I like it. I like that he shot his shot. It was kind of hard to tell what he was saying because it was like bleeped out, like 90%. Yeah, a lot of it was bleeped out as we've come to <laughs> That's our guy, Marvin. Marvin. That's our guy. Listen, <laughs> listen, I love his fire. What can I say? I love his fire. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. You're a new face in the top 10. You could fight Darren Till. You could fight your teammate, Kelvin Gaslam. You could, you could fight anyone because you haven't fought any of those guys. So this guy's yep. like, I don't know if he gets Costa. I think they might do Costa Whitaker next. But he's in the conversation with any one of those top 10, top eight guys now, in my opinion. Yeah, he's very close, right? And honestly... I know we say, let the Izzy fight go. And I've said that to Marvin myself, right? Like Marvin, I called the fight as I saw it. Yeah, it was close, but I thought the guy won the fight. He can let it go, but he doesn't have to let it go for long because it's a very interesting backdrop for him saying, I deserve a title shot. If he can get one more top 10 win, right? Because he fought Izzy to a split decision. Right. Because he's been he's been beating that drum for so long. 
it's easy to ignore a guy that's not in the top 15 that's saying, well, I fought you very close. Much more difficult to ignore a guy that's in the top five that say, hey, remember, you're dominating all these guys, but what about when you and I fought? It was very close, and, you know, in my mind, I won the fight. So um, let it go for a little bit, but don't steer too far from that because the reality is I thought it was crazy at the time because I didn't know if he would get to where he is today. I did, I really kind of – it felt like when Israel Adesanya was fighting him, it was about Izzy. Right. And Izzy was going to go on to become the champion. And it's almost like I had forgotten about Marvin. I knew he was still a good fighter, but you, I didn't know if he would ever get to that point. Because look at how long it's taken his road to get there, opposed to Adesanya's. Right. So normally you would pay attention to the guy that kind of went on to become the champ. But man, the guy that was in there with him on that night was still plugging away, even though it wasn't as it, the light wasn't shining as brightly on him. Let me tell you something. Marvin Vittori is a testament to perseverance, hard work, yeah. dreaming big. Uh, what a win for him. But you've done a good job last five minutes or so dancing around the main subject, the <laughs> elephant in the room. Uh, he called you out, not once, but twice. He called you out in the post-fight interview and then on the post-fight yeah. show. Third guy in a month to call you out, by the way. Yeah. First it was Kevin Holland, then Joaquin Buckley, mm -hmm. and now Marvin Vittori. Marvin, uh, it is Monday last I checked. It's yeah. midday. Marvin said he wanted his name in the roster he well, wanted marvin wanted game. marvin wanted his photo on instagram yes uh, for his character i did not see um, a photo the character I needs to anything. be i mean the character is the characters get built it, it isn't made that easily uh -huh. generally whenever they're building characters we take photos and they do us in those 360 boots they're not doing that right now obviously but let me say this i will say this right now dc oh. and Hawaii exclusive i will make a call i will make a call i will campaign for you marvin to be included in the game because you will be a top five middleweight. You're a guy that has fought the champ as well as he is. Now, look, ultimately, I don't make the decision. Mm. I will campaign. A lot of people seem to think you do. Yeah, I will. A lot of people seem and to and think even you if I, And even if I did make the decision, I would not tell people I make the decision. So wow. let me just go campaign for you, Marvin, and try to see if we can make this happen. You Sounds do like a non-answer. Marvin, I got you. I'm giving him till next Monday. If the call isn't made, if you're not in the game in the, the update. Call will be made. The call will be made. The call Bison. will be made. I got the call you, my bro. Will be made. All the right. call will be made. All right, there it is. You have it.